Hello, hello, hello all and welcome to The Good Witch. If you are new, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Um, thank y'all, my returnings, for sticking with me through everything we've been through this summer. The Good Witch has officially gone global and we are traveling and we are all around the world. Well, right now we're back at home in Houston, but we have been on the go. And needless to say, 2021 has been a roller coaster ride of the year and i appreciate you guys so much so much again i'm gonna i've been saying it on every video we're gonna do like a tell-all live with like question and answer we just have to figure out the right time the last few months we have tried to do the live readings and just let you guys log on to the readings and that hasn't been working out well so this seems to be our best bet so like i said please remember to like share subscribe and comment in love okay back to the old school way we're looking at your love your finances and a message from the divine my dear dear cancers for august of 2021 now i have a special place in my heart for cancers some of the best people in my life are cancers including my mother, and also a couple of my closest friends. Y'all good people. Emotional, slightly thrown off, but great people. Wouldn't charge you for the world. Um, now, looking at your love, ooh. Looking at your love, um, healing it's beginning in a lot of your relationships. I feel like you're, we're going to talk about two different types of relationships for you. The first, we're going to talk about just your overall relationships, and that's going to include family, friends, etc. And then we're going to talk about your romantic relationships because there's a big separation of that next month or this month. So, August. The song that comes to mind was he saw the best in me when everyone else around could only see the worst in me he is mine and i am his it doesn't matter what i did because he only sees me for who i am so, I need y'all to go listen to that. Just, if you don't know the song, just look up, He Saw the Best in Me. I want to call a name, but I don't want to call the wrong name. I'm probably wrong. I'm thinking it's like Marvin Sapp, but I'm really not sure. But that's, that's the vibe that we're in, Cancer. So, somebody is seeing the best in you as you are seeing the best in someone. Okay? So, we're looking at your love. Again, y'all, please remember remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment and love, okay? Your healing begins in your family relationships. You'll be reaching out to some people and some family members, getting back in close contact with them, some people who you may have not spoken to in a very long time, some people who you tried to distance yourself from, let go of because they've hurt you or caused you pain in the past. Some of you even because you wanted them to be someone that they were not or vice versa. You might have had some family that wanted you to be someone that you're not. We're just going to keep moving him every video because he just wants to sit in the camera. Um, and you've learned finally to love them as they are. That will be your lesson in love for August of 2021. You're going to love them where they are. I see this with parents, siblings, children, a cousin, some of you, even a friend, a close friend um, who you keep cutting off because, you know, they're toxic and we overuse that term. Are they narcissistic? No, we overuse that one too. It simply could be that they are not behaving and growing in a way in which you like and appreciate. 
You wanted them to grow up and be a doctor. They want to be a drummer in a rock band. So you think they're throwing their life away. You wanted them to be a drummer in a rock band and they decided they wanted to be a doctor. Either way, you wanted to them, them to be gay and they decided they were straight. And I know that seems a little backwards, but what I'm really sensing right now is a lot of you have are in like a certain lifestyle. Let's say it's a homosexual or a lesbian lifestyle. And one of your friends is deciding that that is not the life for them anymore. And they're wanting to go a different route. And you feel like you just lost your, you just lost your partner, your, your bestie. You just lost your, your rider. And that's not the case. They're still the same person. They still stand with you. They're just, standing a different way and you have to allow them to change and to grow into the person that they're becoming it sucks sometimes but it has to happen and once you do because you feel like they lied to you and you feel like they're lying to themselves and even if they are it's not your place to fix it to judge it to correct it it's not for you to do you have to let them live their own lives. And I know y'all don't like this. But see the best in them like somebody once saw the best in you. Now, if you do and you choose to lead with your heart instead of your ego and your mind, then there is an abundance and overflow and outpouring of love and appreciation, even in your financial life because you're putting out more positive vibes and less negative ones okay so now let's look at your love regarding your relationships your romantic relationships we're not separating single married um situationships this time because we don't need to because what i'm seeing is petty wars Okay, possibly a very airy Gemini energy, um, trying to control people with sex or manipulation, being a little bit unsteady, having an unsteady love life going into the beginning of August. It straightens itself out toward the mid-August, mid but early August, early on, it looks like pity wars. And no one's going to be successful at this. Because it looks like you and your partner or your person are very competitive when it comes to this. And both of you are willing to put in that work. So you're probably going to have to be the bigger person. Because honestly, if you're not, they're going to, they're, they'll be the bigger person. But they'll always take credit for being the bigger person. They're funny. But you're not looking like you want to really put forth work into a relationship. Because the petty wars didn't come from anywhere. It seems to be that you're both expressing behaviors that the other one will simply not tolerate. So you're going to have to decide what changes. You're going to have to decide whether the thing that bothers them is something you're willing to give up. And they're going to have to decide whether the thing that bothers you is something that they're going to give up. Because you both have these things that you won't let go of. For some of you, it actually is another person. Um... You can't let go from someone of your, someone from your past or your person can't let go. It looks like you can't let go of someone from your past that your person is just not here for. You don't feel like it's fair and they have some behaviors. And your person is saying, if you do it, I'm going to do it. If you change, I'm going to change. If you get, if you bend for me, I'll bend for you. And if you won't, I won't. 
they're in a very reciprocal energy. Now be careful with this Gemini person because they will flip up on you. You will get the best version of them until you fuck over them and then you will not. And it will be very, very hard for you to get that best version of them back. Because right now they're not focusing on whatever indiscretion or whatever um, thing it was that you guys are going through or will be going through. They're not going to focus on that. They're going to focus on your response to it. So the fight becomes more of a not what I did or not what you did, but how did you respond to how I felt about what you did? That's more so what the argument will be about and what the petty wars will be about. So just nip that shit in the bud before it starts because it looks like your person has jokes. But you really do care and love about this person. And you don't really want it to be over. You don't believe in defeat at this stage. And it looks like you are going to try to do whatever it takes to stop said strife. But you're going to have to be the one to do it. Like I said, they could do it, but it'll take them longer. And then they'll always be able to say, Well, I wanted it more than you did, and yada, 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 and... I'm the bigger person in this relationship. And that will eventually lead you guys to break up. It's not fair, but it's what I said. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. It's not fair, but this is the person that you chose and that you continue to choose. And like I said, they're not toxic and they're not narcissistic. They can be, it looks like they're manipulative. And it looks like they have some deep insecurities. But we all have our traumas. And I've always hated the phrase that we all have our crosses to bear and our dresses to wear. But that's genuinely how they feel. That's how they feel. So they want you to close some of the doors that you have left open. because you always have an out option so in order for them to take you as seriously as you want them to you seem very passionate about this person and they seem very passionate about you but they want you to complete some cycles and close some doors in order for them to have some form of stability in the relationship because they don't have that right now or they don't feel like they do in very few cases this is reversed to where you're the one who doesn't feel like you have the stability and they're having these open doors. But for about 85 to 90% of you, it's you who have the open doors. So we need to be careful with that, okay? Now, we're looking at your finances and we have to, your financial cup is overflowing and you have an outpouring of finances this month. It's time for you to actually it's a good month to splurge and not be so handheld tight because you're going to be making some investments this month into some people and into some things that seem, what's the word? They seem massive. They seem elaborate. But the way that it's going to pay off, the return on investment in what you're about to do is something that can't be explained. Like you don't even see what your life is becoming. Your life is becoming something amazing. Even if it doesn't feel like it right now. A lot of you lost some things this summer. A lot of you had to move or lost relationships. Um, some of you did, dealt with some illness and some death. Like it was a crazy summer for a lot of you cancers. But what's coming in the next six months is going to be immaculate. Just make sure you sow your seeds properly this month 
some of you might need a really good financial reading and I have that at thegoodwitch.com because you're going to need to know where to invest and but you need to know which which route you want to go because we don't want to make dumb decisions and we don't want to make dumb investments and we don't want to do things that we know nothing about. I wouldn't tell you to go flip houses if you've never talked to a contractor. So let's be aware that this is the month for you to invest in your dreams, not even just in your dreams, but into positive people, positive situations, because you'll be reaping what you sow this August for the next six to eight months. Let's make it good. Let's make sure we're kind and we do nice things for people and you know we're putting those good vibes and those good energies out there because right now cancer you will be reaping what you sow for the next six to eight months got it good message from the divine again please remember to like share subscribe comment in love order a t-shirt or something support your girl cash at me paypal me all that stuff tip jars are in the description box got it good okay um stop trying to find balance you're trying to create so much balance in your life that you're sucking all the fun out of life you're trying to find so much balance that you're Sucking out the fun, creating instability and killing things and changing things that are not ready to be killed or changed. Balance, my dear, is not 50-50. Balance is what levels you out. Balance is constantly moving. It's constantly changing. What... I need more of at this second will be different in the next 10, 15 minutes, if that long, just simply because life is constantly changing. So stop beating yourself up because you feel like, well, I created balance in my life and now everything's gone away haywire. Creating balance is a constant state of deciding what to give, what to take, what to release, what to let go, what to keep, what to throw away. Every decision that you make, whether it's to drive your car to the store or walk to the store, is creating a sense of balance, is deciding what your balance will be in your life. All of your decisions contribute to your balance. It's not just one or two major decisions. Understand that sometimes you're going to be a little bit off balance. Just notice it. Understand it. Enjoy it from time to time. I'm not saying stay in a constant state of imbalance, but stay in a constant state of flow and you don't have to worry about it. Flow this month. Flow and sow, okay? Flow and sow. Got it? Got it. Thank you guys for being a part of my life and thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of yours. Please go visit the Good Witch Supply Store and thegoodwitch.com. Y'all, we are doing some amazing things. We are sending kids to school in Belize. We are going to Ghana and helping to rebuild. We are going to Kemet and starting recycling companies. There are a lot of things that we're doing. We're going to open a brick and mortar the Good Witch Store. We're going to be the Marie Laveau of Houston by the end of 2022. And it'll be somebody, we'll have somewhere here in the city for people to come visit from all over. And yes, I will be sitting right there waiting on you and talking to you, helping you heal. So we'll be getting more and more into that. So y'all please like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for all the things that are coming your way. Thank you so much again for being a part of my life. And thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to be a part of yours. Peace, Cancers.